I did not invent the nigger. I never needed him. It was not my trauma. I didn't suddenly wake up and say, oh my God, I'm black. I never cared until I realized how many other people cared that my nose was flat, my mouth was big, and my hair was kinky, my skin was dark. That didn't bother me, baby, until somebody called me a nigger. All these things were invented. White people invented this creation because they needed it. I never needed it. I always knew that I was a man. The country never did. And the cries of anguish one hears now are involved mainly with the fact that now, for the first time in our history, they are beginning to suspect that fact. That they invented a nigger because they needed him. And now they're beginning uncertainly to wonder why and what can they do about it. And of course, there ain't much time to do anything. But in order to become a man in this country, the Negroes had to do and endure and transcend incredible things. And that if you manage to get to be a man, a black man in America, you really are a man. Every man born knows that. We are concerned with power, nothing more than that. And most unluckily for the Western world, it has consolidated its power on the backs of people who are now going to die rather than be used any longer. <laughs>